You see that pretty woman over there? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do not aboard that train. It looks clean, but too many passengers on that train. Too many passengers on that train. Disengage. Debark. Get off. Now. Sound the alarms across the nation. Sound the alarms across the nation. Breaking news. In the last few years, after the pandemic, syphilis cases has its highest levels in 70 years. CDC reports that the STIs, which is sexually transmitted infections, show no signs of slowing down. The number of sexually transmitted infections in the United States shows no signs of slowing down, according to federal data. A total of 2.53 million cases of chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis were recorded in 2021, according to a report published from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Women out there looking for a handsome man? A fat bank account, fast cars? Let him go. Let him go. Are you looking for that baller? Let him go. Number of cases has skyrocketed from 2.39 million to 2.53 million. Sexually transmitted infections has definitely skyrocketed within the past couple of years. A 5.8% increase to be exact from 2.39 million cases to 2.53 million cases in 2020 and a 7% increase from five years ago when it was 2.37 million for STIs and that was recorded back in 2017. Out of all the sexually transmitted infections, syphilis is at the top of the chart and it has so many variations of this sexually transmitted infection. Now the one sad part is the congenital syphilis that has potential to have dire consequences for de developing fetus in the womb and babies because the impact has such lifelong consequences for someone who is born with a sexually transmitted disease. Now hear me out people, cases are skyrocketing. Their newly released report found at the end of 2020, cases of gonorrhea, primary and secondary stage of syphilis were up 10% and 7% respectively. Now get this, now among the newborns, syphilis, which is congenital syphilis, increased from 15% in 2019 and is up 235% from the year 2016. Now early data indicate primary and secondary syphilis as well as congenital syphilis cases continue to increase in the year 2021 as well. Chlamydia, another popular sexual transmitted infection is on the decline about 13% from 2019. Strap it up people. We just can't worry about the mask on our face. We got to also protect what's below our waist. Strap it up. These STDs do not discriminate. Now, while STDs are increasing across many ethnic groups, in 2020, STD data show that some racial, ethnic, minority groups, gay and bisexual men, and our nation's youth, continue to experience higher rates of STDs than others. Now the factors that contribute to such high rates of STDs is such things as a lack of access to regular medical care, discrimination, stigma, continue to stand in the way of quality sexual health care for everyone who needs it. There you have it guys. Women, men, and children, over 200 plus million positive cases. Please go get screened. Please go get tested. You know, there's no need to be the last one to get tested when you could be walking by or having sexually contact with someone this weekend. You never know. You don't have to be dusty, musty, or crusty to have this infection. And nowadays, medicines are so advanced, they can cause... Uh, what we known as a disease back in the day to now an infection. So get tested, get cured, live life.
Peace. I'm out. Yo, the sign is real simple, B. Wrap it up.